Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Terraria today, episode 68. But first of all, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and well wishes, all that kind of fun stuff. It's Christmas Day. Uh, I was thinking of doing something special, but I couldn't come up with anything really. I was thinking of actually saying some kind of special Christmas thanks to my family, but like I said, I couldn't really think of anything that worked or that I felt comfortable with. But summarily, I love you all, you're awesome people, and well, do great, you're great, and all that stuff. Okay, so uh, last episode was the Old One's Army, and since then I've not done anything, except just before the recording, I did a few rounds of the uh, ev invasion event, I died a couple times, I left a tombstone up there, and I actually got used to how it works, and I put up the little, little defense towers and I actually defended successfully. The first successful defense was actually kind of a tiebreaker. I died, but while I was dead the defenses killed the rest of the goblins for me and I won. And my prizes were a gato egg, which I assume is a pet item, goes here. Can I summon it? No? Uh, how do I do that? Visible. There he is. And the buff is Propeller Gato. A Propeller Gato is following you. Following you. He's green now because I have the green dye on, but what's his normal color? Blue. What a strange little critter. Okay, so it's a uh, vanity pet. Like the little baby hornet. What else did I get? Mummy mask actually drops from the mummy in the desert. It's a vanity item just for looks. Throw it on there. Get a glowy mummy face mask of bandages. I got a dark mage mask. I think that guy is the boss of wave 5. It's also a vanity item. You can put his mask on. But, uh, let's take off the dye just to see how that looks. There you go. Ta-da! Kind of spooky. Um, and this war table. I have no idea what it is. It's my first time seeing it. I assume it is some kind of crafting station. But what would you even do with this? Wow, look at that. Looks crazy. Got all kinds of stuff on it. There's an airship. A, looks like a small war map. That, uh, I guess, you know, the war type people use to plan out strategies and things. Can I use it for anything? Can I right click? Or is it just for show? Well, I just I think it's just for show. It is pretty cool looking, and it, yeah, the whole tower defense game mini game thing and the tavern keep. Oh, it's animated. That's cool. So the whole tower defense thing, it is part of another game crossover something that they did. I forget what it's called, but yeah, that's why it's in Terraria. So and we have some more new stuff in the chest. But right before that, there's something I want to make that I just found that I really want to make with pixie dust. It is the meteor staff. It requires 20 meteorite bars, 10 pixie dust, and 10 soul of light. I think I have that many soul of light. Three. Uh, that's not as many as I need. Flasks, new stuff. No, I don't have as much soul of light. Well, I'll have to get that next time. And there was another item? Pixie wings? Is that right? I think it was pixie wings. Uh, this I can't get yet, because I need a little soul of sight from defeating the mechanical eye bosses. So fairy wings. 20 soul of flight and 100 pixie dust. I don't think I have 100 pixie dust, I have like 50? 50, 55? Well that's going to be a while. Alright, now the new stuff chest. Let's see. Pirate map. This is from Ocean Monsters in hard mode. It's used to summon a pirate invasion. I'm not quite ready for that. Crystal ball I bought from the magician, the wizard. You can place it down and right click to interact with it and it will increase your magic damage done. Aha, the bell and the harp. These are used to craft certain magical items. And spell tome. And this dropper I got from the wizard as well. I'm not sure what it does at all. It's brand new to me. What's this? Arcane Presserator. Automatically places actuators on placed objects. Ah, yes, that's nice. Equipable. It might even be like uh, other wire items that you don't have to equip it to use it, like the uh, 
Builder's Dream? Builder's Tinker Kit? Architect Gizmo Pack. So I'm gonna see what kind of crazy mage magical items I can craft with this stuff, like the bell. There's only one item you can craft with the bell, but I need Soul of Sight, like I said before. Harp is used to make magical harp. Also needs Soul of Sight. Eight Soul of Night. I have a bunch of those. How many do I have? That goes, I believe, where did I put it? Miscellaneous? Hallow? I guess it's in the Crimson? Yeah, there it is. 14. How many was it? 10? Crafting, Harp. Oh, 8. Very nice. What about Spell Tome? Surely I can make more than one item. Yes. 15 Soul of Light for Crystal Storm. This is actually a very good magic item, I think. Cursed Flames, I can't make this because I need Cursed Flame, which drops from monsters in a corruption world. That is the purple corruption, not the red crimson that my world has. But instead of corruption, I have crimson, which has monsters that drop ichor, which is used to make a book, Golden Shower. It's not what it sounds like. It's not actual gold. Um, it's actually ichor, this very acidic liquid material that drops off the monsters. You can think of it as stomach bile. This I used, uh, I think, maybe during my uh, personal playtime in Terraria. It penetrates monsters, it goes through targets and hits more of them, and it's a straight stream that you can hold on, you can hold the mouse button down, and you can con continually aim and shoot things. It's very, very good. So I want this. 15, 20 Iker. Ooh, can I make this? 15 Knight, 20 Iker. 15 Knight. I think I have enough, right? 14, just one short, and 8 Iker. What did it say? 20? I'm very bad with numbers today. 20 and 15, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on getting those. Now this empty dropper. Huh. Uh, I have no idea what this does or what it's for. Now, without looking up anything, I'm going to try out some stuff, like clicking this water. Left click, right click. Does nothing. Mm. Oh, sorry, just eight. Uh, let's see. So, since it doesn't do anything right now, maybe Kevin can tell me what I can combine with it to create other things. All right. So we have any sand block gives me a sand dropper. Uh, with an output of three. Oh, wait a minute. One sand, three droppers gives you three sand droppers, so you can't make just one. Let's see. Empty dropper, crystal ball, and water. Crystal ball, lava, crystal ball, and honey. Hmm. This is interesting. Well, I'll take this with me. See what happens. And I think these were pretty cheap, so it's probably consumed on use. Let's see. Do I want to try lava or... Now I'll just try water to be safe. Let's run over here. Uh, this should be close enough. And there it is. One magic water dropper. This can be turned into something further. It's a material. What exactly does this do? Well, I'm gonna right click on the, no, left click on the air. I swing it. It does nothing. Right click. Left click here. Well, I can remove the grass. Very nice. Drop. What can I drop or pick up? I don't know. Well, maybe the guide can tell me what I can do with a filled water dropper. Okay, Mr. Guide. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? So, with a water dropper, I can create... Oh, wow, I need a lot of these. I need all of them. To make a liquid sensor. Activates whenever occupied by liquid. Deactivates when empty. And a liquid sensor for water. Five cog, one wire, one magic water dropper. Activates when occupied by water. Oh, okay, so it's all for magic wire stuff. I don't know why it's magical. There's nothing magical about it. So, what else? War table, that's nice. Yeah, I'm guessing it is a uh, just a sh for show item. Has no actual use, like a work bench, work table. Anything else in this chest? 
Hard fast clock. This provides immunity to slows. Explosive powder I bought from the demolitionist. This is used to make, I think, certain bullets. And where is it? Flasks? Uh, maybe? I don't think so. No. And there's also gold dust, which I bought from the merchant. That's used to make certain bullets and certain flasks. So I can just toss it in here and make a flask out of it. Yeah. But not right now. What else is in the new chest? Dual hook. This dropped from a mimic. Demon Gatligator. I don't know when I got this. Well, I do, but I just forget when that was. Ammo. Let's grab a bunch of musket balls. Sure. Try this sucker out. Whoa. It's very inaccurate, but it fires quickly. I wonder what the damage is like. Let's hit the uh, training dummy. 360, 340. It's very good up close, but the farther away you go, the less accurate it is. Yeah, see, we're down less than 250 damage per second, less than 200. And if I go this close, 300. Oh well. And so long to all the bullets I just wasted. Ammo, put this back, and I'm not even going to use this weapon because I am a spellcaster. I think that's it. Yeah, pretty much. But I do have two presents I can open up. Now, presents drop rarely from mobs. Maybe this guy will drop one. No. They drop rarely from mobs in the... Uh, during Christmas time. And you can place them on the ground. They look have different kind of looks. You can decorate a tree that... I think you can buy tree parts from the Santa NPC. He has not shown up in my world. I don't see him on this list, so nope. And further, you can actually open them. Right click to open. So if I'm like this and I right click? No, you have to right click from your inventory like this. I got 26 pine tree block. And again, we have more pine tree blocks. And this is actually a pretty fun block because you can build little trees. Look at that little tree. And you can build it taller. You can build it wider. That looks kind of funny. And it does look a lot weirder if you start hammering it. Watch this. Uh, that there. That's a flat one. It turns into wood. That's a right side slope. I think. That? I don't know what that is. That looks like a top right slope, top left slope. And if you flatten that... Yeah, look at this. I'm flattening all of pieces and they turn into something I don't know what that is it's like they are all pine tree bottoms what if I put all this there well yeah you can experiment with it however you like and then this that actually doesn't look too bad I mean if I could actually get something like this and have it look symmetrical you know do whatever you want I think that's it yeah that's enough for this episode. I don't have anything else to do with. I didn't really imagine something I could do. But I did clean out the new stuff chest. I went over all these magic items. I'm not too interested in the magic water droppers to be honest. But it is nice to have like a liquid detector. I'm not sure what that is would be used for. But if I could have the time to think about it. Sure I could come up with something. Well. That is pretty much it. Okay then, well, if you like silly masks, if you like magic spells, if you like Christmas, come on, a lot, lots of people like Christmas, uh, leave a like, and if you want to see more of this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Uh, next time, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. So until then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.